Nobody with real power cares if you refuse to vote for Biden. There's been a lot of talk in pro-Palestine circles about withholding votes for Biden in protest of his genocide in Gaza, which is of course fine. But the discourse around doing so often misses an important point. A lot of U.S. voters erroneously think they'd be punishing the Democrats for Gaza by costing them the election, mistakenly assuming Democrats care about winning. They don't. Losing an election costs Democratic Party leaders nothing. All the career politicians and political operatives at the top keep their careers either way. From their point of view, this is just a cushy job with sweet benefits, and they keep those win or lose. And obviously Biden himself doesn't care. He'll have a comfortable retirement regardless of the outcome in November. And on some level, he's surely aware that it's nuts for a dementia patient to be in the White House anyway. The unelected empire managers who actually run the U.S. power structure also don't care who wins the election. They know they'll still get their murder and militarism and capitalism and imperialism no matter who gets sworn in next year, whether it's Biden or Trump or Harris or someone else. Nobody with any real power cares about your vote. And that's the real issue. That's the real point that keeps getting missed here. The problem is not that the wrong people keep getting elected. It's that the elections don't matter and voters don't have a say. It's that humanity is dominated by a murderous, globe-spanning power structure loosely centralized around Washington, whose actual movements and behavior have effectively zero responsiveness to the will of the electorate. You're never going to be able to vote your way out of this mess. And you're never going to be able to not vote your way out of this mess. Because the power of your vote has been undermined to a value of zero. That doesn't mean there's no way out of this mess. It just means there's no way to get out of this mess using the fake plastic diversion toy they handed you to shut you up and trick you into thinking you have a say. There are still plenty of other tools in the toolbox for forcing an evil power structure to stop doing evil things, but they require a lot of hands to bring about, and right now we don't have them. Too many people have been successfully propagandized into believing the status quo works and their government is basically good or successfully manipulated into giving up on politics altogether and throwing their attention into other things. Before the people can begin using the power of their numbers to force real change, they're going to have to be awakened to the reality that everything they've been told about their government, their society, and their world is a lie. They've got to come to the understanding that the mainstream news media are nothing but propaganda and they live under the most murderous and tyrannical regime on this planet. They've got to realize that this power structure does not ultimately serve their interests, or the interests of their fellow human beings around the world. Only when enough eyes open to this reality can revolutionary change via direct action become possible. The good news is it's entirely possible to help get those eyes open. Everything you do to help share the truth with your fellow citizens and spread awareness of what's really going on pushes this possibility toward reality. The more people open their eyes, the more people there are to help open others. So this could snowball from impossible to probable to inevitable quite quickly. An entire globe-spanning empire rests on a closed pair of eyelids. Once they snap open, the whole thing will crumble. And from there, we can begin building a healthy world together.